You have probably imagined I will use a grid object for the base of the building. So I will create a grid node. And I will start linking some of the parameters in my user interface to some of the values of the grid. So usually when I have um, linked parameters, I like to change the color of the node. That way I can visually see that I have changed something or I actually I have linked parameters from the interface. So I'll press the C key to open and close the color picker. And first of all, I want to change the number of columns. In this case, this will be the number of columns on the width of the building. So I will go back to the controls, right click on grid lines width, copy the parameter, and back in the grid object, paste this parameter in the columns channel as a relative reference. So now I can control the number of the grids through my user interface. So I will do the same thing with the, grins, uh, the grid span. I will right click the grid span width. And back in, in the grid node, I will paste it as a relative reference on the width size and multiply this value by the number of columns. So I can copy directly the reference from the columns channel and paste it back on this uh, width channel. So I'll multiply these two values. And this will yield the total width of, of our building. We can try that. So here I'm changing the grid lines, the number of grid lines. And here I'm changing the separation between each grid line. So let's do the same for the depth. I'll copy the parameter for the number of lines and paste it on the number of rows on our grid. Now I will copy the grid span depth and paste it as a reference on the size and multiply that value by our number of grids on the depth actually. And you always want to try your controls just to make sure that everything is working as expected. So here we're changing the grid span and here we're changing the number of grids. So just to make sure if you multiply say a grid span of five meters by 10 columns, you should have a 50 meters span or a 50 meters total depth and here we can see it so everything is working fine if you see the the grid lines you'll notice that we're going from 25 meters in uh, Z to minus 25 another very useful technique is you can middle click your node or actually you can click on the eye icon to check the node info. And here you will see the size. So notice how the C size is 50 meters as expected. So also middle clicking the node, you can temporarily access this information, but I rather just click on the eye icon just to have the flooring window. So let's check the width. Let's do the same test. I'll 
uh, create 10 grid lines for the width and I'll make a span of let's say 4 meters so now we should have a 40 meter wide building so yes on the X we have 40 meters on the C we have 50 meters so everything's working fine now so I will use this grid to copy our columns onto each intersection of the grid and afterward I will use the the external lines to copy our walls and the beams. <laughs> 